Hey girl, hey! So what's up guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you guys some DIYs or life hacks for wider teeth. So this video might come off a little bit random, but let me tell you guys how I thought about this video. So my brother's wedding is actually coming up this weekend, and I decided I want to whiten my teeth. First of all, I haven't whitened my teeth in a really long time. Like, I've never bleached them ever. I haven't done any, like, little home remedies in a really long time. So I decided to whiten my teeth and try this hack that my dad taught me years back. He told me about burning a tortilla and, you know, helping whiten your teeth or whatever. I thought about it. I was like, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna try other things to whiten my teeth for the weekend. But I decided, you know what? Might as well film a full-blown video. <laughs> but why not? Okay? And I'd like to say, of course, these are not 100% original remedies. I'm sure you guys have heard of some of them. <laughs> But I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to click the like button. If you don't like it, then just like it. It's all good. However you're feeling, it's okay. Comment down below your video suggestions. Also, I do have a vlog channel. I'm going to link it down below just in case you guys want to see what I'm doing. Because I do kind of vlog a lot. So make sure to go check that out. Also, if you don't know, I do have a candle collection. I'm going to link my candles down below. It's called HeyGirlHeyCandles.com. And my candles are actually right here on display. And I have 15 different scents. I will do a full video um, showing you guys all the candles. And just talk all about that. But I'm going to go ahead and link them down below. And yeah, I hope this intro doesn't get too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's get straight on to this video. Why am I moving so much? So the first one I want to show you is the lemon and baking soda method. Lemon actually has bleaching properties in it and it's also used to brighten up dark spots on skin, etc. As to the baking soda, it is the opposite of acidic. So not only does it act as a good scrub, but also it will reduce the acidity in the lemon juice. In a small bowl, I'm going to make a small mix of equal amounts of baking soda and lemon juice. Add that and mix that around. Add more baking soda or more lemon juice if you have to. You should have a paste-like consistency. So here's a quick before shot and then I'm going to brush my teeth with it. I'm also going to leave this on my teeth for one minute or less. No more than that because the lemon is acidic and leaving it too long is not good for the enamel. Then just rinse that out and brush your teeth with toothpaste as you usually would. But before you do, wait about 15 minutes before brushing. I noticed a difference right away and this is only one use. I recommend you don't use this one often, maybe once a week because too much lemon can wear out the enamel. Next up is the toothpaste, salt, and lemon paste. I'm taking half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a little bit of toothpaste. I'm mixing that all up, and then with your finger or Q-tip, you're just going to rub that all over your teeth. You're going to leave this on for about a minute and then rinse. This method is recommended about once or twice a week max. And here's a before picture from the beginning, y'all. Oh my god. You never realize how yellow your teeth are until you whiten them. Which, by the way, pause. I'm going to pause this really fast. So no, this did not freeze on you. Let me pause really quickly to tell you guys to not do all of these methods all at once. I recommend trying a method at a time and not too often. Maybe once a week or max two for these methods I've talked about. Also, if you are 12 years old or younger, I would check with your dentist before trying these lemon remedies because usually at your age, just brushing them and flossing them will give you pearly whites. So on to the third method, it's the lemon and water method. I'm using half a teaspoon of water and half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Never use the lemon juice on its own. Although it does help kill mouth bacteria and prevents oral diseases, don't use it alone directly on your teeth because it's very acidic. So I'm having somebody else try this on their teeth. I'm taking a Q-tip and rubbing it onto their teeth or their stains. Let it sit for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. Then rinse and brush your teeth with your toothpaste as you usually would. You can use this method about twice a week. So next up is the apple cider vinegar and water method. It serves as a natural mouthwash before brushing your teeth. Doing this daily can actually help prevent tooth decay, which is great, and help sore gums. Some people actually brush their teeth directly with this, but it's not recommended because over time, it can wear out the enamel. 
So I just added a tiny amount into some water and now time to gargle it everywhere, which by the way, it smells and tastes absolutely disgusting. Try to keep it in there for about a minute. So something that I said to whiten teeth is actually raisins. Apparently raisins help to keep your teeth white by inducing saliva production. I don't know, but I feel like they look white, huh? Like after yeah. those few that I did, I feel like they're getting really white. Sometimes my teeth look a little yellow. Like even if I try to look white, huh? Next up is oil pulling. This is very good for oral detoxifying, keeping your teeth white and all that. This is so good for your oral health in general that you can do this anywhere from four to seven days a week. So if you want to do this every day, you can. Just take a spoon of oil, swish it around for 10 to 15 minutes before brushing your teeth. Twenty seconds or thirty seconds? Mm, minutes. Two minutes? Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. You're not gonna do that for fifteen minutes. <laughs> <That's fucking good. laughs> Next up is the one I learned from my dad years ago. It's using a burnt tortilla. It's like using charcoal, except you're using a burnt tortilla. And I'm gonna have my sister Mara demonstrate this for y'all. Just take the tortilla and just rub it in your mouth. You literally you take the tortilla. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you just had to rub it in. We used to do this before, dude. You're just gonna rub it in, and it's actually best if you actually take a toothbrush and use it almost as a toothpaste. <laughs> you look stupid. So here's a way to make your teeth appear brighter and whiter. Wearing red colored lipstick will make your teeth appear as if they are whiter. It's even better if the lipstick has a blue undertone to it. For the next method, we're using the hydrogen peroxide method, which by the way, for the hydrogen peroxide, you want to make sure to get one that is 3% or under because that will be safe for your teeth. So I'm going to take a small cup and I'm going to mix in one teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of toothpaste, and a half teaspoon of water. I'm going to mix this right up and then brush my teeth with it for about two minutes. Do this every week until you reach the results that you want. Once you do have your results and your teeth are white, limit this method to about once a month. So the next method I'm using is the strawberry and toothpaste method. Now I do know that people use the strawberries alone on their teeth, but this is acidic so sometimes it's best to mix it with something else to kind of dilute it a little bit. Although we do eat strawberries and it does go through our teeth, when you're whitening your teeth with it, you're rubbing it directly to it, if that makes any sense. So I'm just crushing a little bit of strawberry and putting it into my toothpaste. Once everything is mixed together, it should look like this, which by the way, after a few minutes, it just turns white, the strawberries and everything, it just all looks white because of the toothpaste. So just brush your teeth with that as you usually would with your regular toothpaste. And by the way, if they do get caught in there, the strawberries, then just floss them out, which by the way, also, you should be flossing regardless. It's a big way to keep your teeth clean. And there you have it, 10 hacks for teeth whitening. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. So overall, I think this worked. I mean, I know I did do most of them on my teeth, and that probably made a big difference, but I think it works. From the very first one, I started noticing the differences. Y'all, my teeth look so white right now. They probably don't look Hollywood white, but compared to how my teeth were, they look white. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. Also, do not forget to go check out my vlog channel. Don't forget to go check out my candles. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. If you didn't like this video, you know, click the thumbs down button. It's okay. Comment down below your video suggestions. Subscribe if you are not. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. And quickly before I go, I do want to thank my friend DIYs by Abraham for making me this outro. He really did not need to and I loved it. Thank you so much, Abraham. 